beautiful Hawaii River. All right, we are out here today in the farmlands of southern Idaho. Today we're going to be doing a range test on this electric bike. This is the Eahora Juliet. It is a ultra long range bike. It's got a huge 60 amp hour battery and they claim it'll do over 100 miles on throttle only. We're going to test things out today and see how far we get. We got a route of over 100 miles planned and I figured I might as well take you someplace cool. So we are going to visit the Owyhee Dam which was actually a prototype for the Hoover Dam that's on the Colorado River. It was completed in 1932 and it's a pretty amazing sight. So tag along with me as we go check that out. Hopefully my rear end holds up. We're going to try to do all this in a day so we can get the best test of this bike we can. Let's go. Here is our starting point. We just came off the charger. We're at five bars. I reset the trip odometer to zero. Let's get going. Man, the traffic's terrible out here today. I love this place. <laughs> We've been cruising in pedal assist four, and it puts us right at between 28 and 30 miles an hour. Moving right down the road. We've got about 11 miles, and we're still sitting at five bars. Day here in Idaho. Well, we made it to the Snake River. We just crossed the uh, border from Idaho into Oregon, and that is a beautiful sight. All right, we're about to head up into the canyon. The terrain's changing a little bit. Um, we've gone almost 30 miles and we are at five bars still, cruising right along. Owyhee Canyon here and it is getting so pretty. The terrain's changing. We're into these high desert canyons. What an awesome trip. This is such a fun bike. Man, 30 miles an hour cruising right down the road. Okay, we just hit over 35 miles, 35.6 miles, and we, the, we just lost the first bar of the battery. So we're down to four bars. But man, this thing is amazing. I'm going to be wore out before the battery is, I think. Man, check out those colors. That is just beautiful.
first view of the dam over in the distance. You can see just the top edge of it. We got a little bit of a hill climb to get up there, and that's the first uh, decent hill of the whole trip. We've been trying to keep it pretty smooth to give this thing a fair chance for a review. Um, we'll be climbing up that hill, but we'll also be coming back down. It should so it should balance things out. Okay, so we're coming up on our first hill climb of the trip. We just started kind of at the base of the hill here. I'm in pedal assist four. We're pedaling in the highest gear. And cruising about 14 miles an hour. Now I'm ghost pedaling coming up this hill. Cruising at 18. Hill kind of tapered off a little bit. Now we're going to start a pretty little steep little section here. Woo! Drop down to 15, 14. Man, it's still doing pretty good on these hills. Having to pedal now, we're about 12 miles an hour, dropping down to 10. Hmm, upshift a little bit here. About 10 miles an hour on this hill is not too bad. Man, this is awesome. Here's a little better view of the Owyhee Reservoir Dam and the canyon below it. What a pretty little spot. I tried to get some pictures of the dam, but all the gates were locked. The Owyhee Dam was completed in 1932 during the Great Depression and served as a prototype for the larger, more well-known Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. It generates electricity and provides irrigation water for many farms around the Idaho and Oregon area. Here we are on the back side of the Owyhee Dam, on the Owyhee Reservoir side. You can see over here to my left the uh, spillway. This is one of only a few spillways of its type in the country. And when the water's up and flowing into that, people come from all over to see it. I'll include a clip of it here. Well, we made it up here to the Owyhee Dam. And I wanted to take a quick minute and do a walk around of the bike for you. I'm also going to take a little break here, eat some lunch. But uh, this is the Eohora Juliet. Not to be mistaken for a girl's bike. They also have a Romeo model, but it doesn't have an adjustable seat or the step through. And those are both options that I wanted. Solid rear rack. I've loaded that thing with camping gear. I'll put a link down in the description to a video that I did where we took it camping and it performed really well. I loaded all my gear for the weekend on it. Hydraulic disc brakes, which I was worried about because of the weight of this bike, but uh, they have performed very well and stop it in plenty of time. Combo brake just like a motorcycle and uh, you can stop it pretty quickly. The suspension was also a worry of mine um, because of the weight, uh, but they have performed really well Got the full rear suspension and front suspension. Walk you over here to the display. You can see we've gone 45.4 miles. Our battery's still at four bars. Controls are over here. With your thumb, you can adjust between the five levels of pedal assist. We've been in four today for most of the, well, all of the day. We might uh, step it up to five, might drop it down to three on the way down. And we actually were cooking through the turns pretty fast. But overall, the bike has performed really well. I've been very impressed. And we'll see what kind of mileage that we can get out of it. I'm going to eat me some lunch and uh, we'll head back down the road. I 
like coming up on a tunnel. Oh, cool, man. This bike is a blast. Well, we just hit the 50 mile mark. We got three bars of battery left. I hope I have enough daylight to uh, run this battery down. Been very impressed so far. It's uh, moving right down the road and we still got plenty of battery life left. We are back out here in farmland. We just hit the 75 mile mark. We got two bars left on the battery and I got about two hours of daylight left. So let's see if she'll do 100. These girls just crossed the road in front of me. Got some wild turkeys. Well, we made it about two miles before we drop to one bar. We just hit 77 miles, one bar left. We're gonna push it to the end. Well, folks, we are down to the end of it. I'm going about six miles an hour. There is a little push, but not much. No battery icon on the screen. And that is it. Question is, how far did we make it? How far? And we're done. Well, it's been a fun day. We put a lot of miles on this bike. We've been riding for the last seven and a half hours. We took a, a 20 minute break for lunch. Um, we put in a good hard day. My rear end's a little sore, but uh, we put it to a good test. We made it 88.8 .8 miles. Not quite the 100 we were hoping for. Not quite the 100 advertised. I weigh about 200 pounds with my gear, and I'm sure that offsets things a little bit. I've seen people take these bikes further, uh, but that's what we got out of it today. Um, it's still a great bike. It handles well. It goes a good long distance. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you are interested in one, there's a link down in the description below. There's also a link to the off-road review that we did of this. We took a camping, loaded it with gear, and uh, you can see how it handled there. Thanks for being out here with me today.